Hi, Soul Family. This is Latanya Wasaji Soul. Thank you for tuning in for your bi weekly reading. Uh, this will be from today, May the 2nd through May the 16th. Um, and I'll be starting off with Sagittarius first for the number one views. Uh, so I appreciate that, Sagis. Um, thank you to all of my old subscribers. I really appreciate you. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome and thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the emails. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the likes and dislikes because it's still all energy, right? Uh, let's see. This will not resonate with everyone. So maybe 5%, maybe 1%, maybe one or two people, whoever is meant to hear it the most. Continue to check your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus sign, your Neptune sign, your Mars sign, your Jupiter sign, your North node, your South node, all those elements in the natal birth chart that make up who you are, right? Let's see. Sagittarius. Let's read your horoscope for the month of May. Let's see what's going on. Sagittarius. Be very honest with yourself as you as you examine how you view your responsibilities. It's time to rethink your approach to life and what you're accountable for. You're being given the opportunity to adjust your methods during this time. Be your own harsh critic. <laughs> so your rewarding days this month are the 8th and the 9th, which is next Friday and next Saturday, right? And your challenging days are the 22nd, the 23rd, and the 24th. Okay. All right, Sagi. So I've already set my intentions and I have already done my prayer off camera. Let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. All right. So this will be from May the 2nd through May the 16th. So I hope you all are having a good week, a good weekend. Able to get fresh air. Five of Cups just came out. We're gonna put it back in though. Let me shuffle. Sagittarius. So I hope you all are staying busy, focusing on your career, or maybe new careers. Thinking about going back to school. Focusing on opening up your own business now. That things are the way they are, right? Come on. Let's cut the deck. Sagittarius, your focus, the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Hmm. You also have the Emperor, Major Arcana. You also have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. You also have the King of Cups in the reverse. You also have, wow. The King of Wands in the reverse. Showing up in your reading. You also have the Moon, Major Arcana, in the reverse. And you also have the Queen of Swords <laughs> in the upright. All right. All right, Sagis, come on down. Let's see what's going on. Mm. 
Sagittarius. Your focus. Hmm. The Ace of Wands. Interesting. But in the reverse. Hmm. Now, in the upright, well, we know Ace as well. They're new beginnings, right? They're the uh, fresh start of something exciting and sometimes something new and sometimes something old that's coming back, right? And with the Ace of Wands, this is usually some type of hmm, fiery, passionate beginning, right? Some type of fiery, passionate opportunity. Hmm. Whether this opportunity is in love or hmm, a new career or a new relationship. And with this being the quarantine, I think a lot of you are probably receiving lots of fiery, <laughs> passionate calls or invitations, right? Hmm. But in the reverse, this is uncertainty, right? This is uncertainty about any type of plans or opportunities that are coming your way during, due to the times that we're in right now, right? This could also be a little laziness, right? And lacking motivation, but I'm hoping not for my Saggies because you're usually full of fire and energy, right? Let's keep going. You also have the Emperor, hmm. Major Arcana. Now, remember this is a picture on the card, so this could be male or female. We're talking energy. And the Empress and the Emperor, where they combine all the kings and the queens in, they're just very well put together, right? And very structured and an overall self-awareness of who they are and what they are to other people, right? Very confident and just a very skillful leader who is very protective over their family and their close friends, right? Let's keep going. You also have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Now in the upright, well, the Eight of Swords, this is exactly as it looks, right? This is the feeling of being stuck in a situation, whether it's stuck in a karmic relationship, stuck in a job, Stuck in a career, right? Stuck in a situation, right? Stuck in the house. <laughs> but this is being stuck and feeling like there's nothing that you can do, right? There's nowhere to go and there's just nothing's going on, right? Being mentally trapped and not understanding that during this time of quietness, it's time to make plans, right? It's time to focus on your goals, and it's time to manifest what you need, right? And in the reverse, that's exactly that. That's releasing oneself from feeling trapped and feeling helpless and seeing beyond the fear and having the courage to continue to push through. You also have... King of Wands. I'm sorry. No, not yet. He is on the board, though. Actually, <clears throat> the King of Cups. In the reverse. Now, in the upright, well, we know the King of Cups. Remember, this is a picture on the card. We're talking energy, so this could be male or female, right? But the King or Queen of Cups, well, they're very warm, right? And they have a genuine concern for others and lots of compassion and they always lead through a gentle power and very inspired by other, uh, other cultures and the arts, right? Very dignified and just overall, again, fiercely protective of their family and close friends. But in the reverse, well, this is someone who can be a little emotionally distant with their feelings, right? This is someone who can be even manipulative and Someone who can even be unable to control their temper, right? Explosive outbursts and 
even abusive, but let's keep going. You also have the King of Wands hmm. in the reverse. Now we know in the upright, well, the King of Wands is just that, right? Very fiery and just overall type of person who loves adventure. Inspired by pretty much any and everything, right? Loves life as every day being something passionate and exciting and just a generous leader, right? But in the reverse, again, this is an immature king or queen, right? This is someone who's very arrogant and someone who is not able to listen to others and someone who's very impulsive and even impatient. You also have the moon, major arcana, in the reverse. Hmm. Well, on the upright, well, we know the moon, it's just that, right? It's sometimes secrets being um, held back. It's sometimes things being hidden from us, right? It's sometimes even illusions, right? And just uncertainty. And in the reverse, this could uh, mean that sometimes things are revealed to us, whether it's by others or in a dream state. But it's, hmm. Also the action of not wanting to make a move on the information that we know, but let's keep going. Let's see what else is on the board. You also have the Queen of Swords in the upright. <laughs> Now, we know with the king and queen of swords, well, this is a no-nonsense type of king or queen, right? Very wise and very intelligent and very analytical and just overall very, just a guarded strength, right? And maybe even a lot of harsh truth when they open their mouth, right? Hmm. Just overall strong authority figure who's had love and who's lost love, right? And who's no longer at this point in their lifetime willing to put up with any more BS, right? So, Sagittarius. On the board, you have wands. Fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You also have swords. Air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You also have the moon, Pisces, Cancer. And I forgot cups, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh, and the emperor, Aries. Now remember, this could be in your, your moon, your rising, your Venus, your Mercury, vice versa for the cross watch or anyone else that you're dealing with, right? So we have the emperor, two kings, and a queen. Interesting. Sagittarius, I do believe this is you. During this time, And maybe before quarantine. Hmm. You had so many options. <laughs> maybe you had a king or queen of wands, a king or queen of cups, and even a queen or king of swords. Sagittarius, you were busy before the quarantine. <laughs> you really had it going on, Sagittarius. 
lots of options, right? Hmm. But you're understanding that many of these kings, whether this is kings or queens or same-sex relationships, well, these people that you're dealing with, they are mentally unstable. And whenever a king or queen is in the reverse, they're not even financially stable. I mean, they don't even have a sound foundation. And I think dealing with so many people, Sagittarius, you are really bound and trapped and maybe even trying to figure out how to get out of some of these relationships. Hmm. Maybe some of these are tied to your work or... Hmm. Just your overall private life, right? And it looks like with the Ace, the Eight of Swords, being in the reverse, you've made the decision that maybe you just don't want any passion or loving from anyone at this moment, right? Maybe being in quarantine or alone by yourself, you're reflecting on your own foundation, right? You're looking at your life path ahead and you're figuring out what's next for you. Because these two people, they're not compatible with you. They're not sitting on their throne, they're not mentally stable, and they're not financially stable. Hmm. But something has been revealed, right? Because I do see this queen of swords sitting quietly, stable, And I believe she's very intuitive, probably with the moon in reverse. Maybe she's even called you out on some things that she's seen or some of your behaviors, right? Maybe that's why she's the only one, she or he, there in the upright. Because they're not going to put up with any kind of BS, right? Not for passion, not for love, not for money, because even though they're not the empress here, they're still a queen. So Sagittarius, what are you going to do? I'm sure there's no invites going out to anyone during the quarantine. But you have a lot of people here. You have a lot of people in your energy, right? In your space. And the majority of these people are unstable. Which means they drain on your energy. They drain on your time. They're probably sending you frivolous text messages. Calling about nothing. Telling you they have no money. Maybe even saying they have no place to stay. Right? Because you're an emperor. Interesting. But it looks like there's no passion going on. You are not feeling the fire. <laughs> As an emperor, you're sitting back, right? But when the quarantine is over, what will you do? 
will you allow these mentally unstable people to come back into your energy? Or are you focusing on your goals and people who are on your level? Wow. A lot of them fell on the floor. Let's take these two. I have the attitude of gratitude for the limitless potential tomorrow holds for me. Exactly. You are the emperor or the empress holding the world in your hands, sitting on your throne, quietly watching the sunrise and the sunset, planning your next moves. And I believe you realize that people like this, they're not even on your level. Why have you even been entertaining people like this? They're a waste of your time and your resources. I have the attitude of gratitude for the limitless potential tomorrow holds for me. I have the attitude of gratitude for my mind, body, and soul development throughout my evolving journey of life. Exactly. This is who you are. You need to deal with someone who's on your level. Right? Someone that you can build foundations with, right? Someone who's not going to allow you to walk all over them, right? Someone who will challenge you to be a better woman, to be a better man, right? So that you can build legacies together. I have the attitude of gratitude for my mind, body, and soul development throughout my evolving journey of life. Sagittarius, this is your reading from today, May the 2nd through May the 16th. Please subscribe, like, share, and of course, comment. And Soul Family, I want to encourage you to continue to think positive, continue to keep your mind busy, open a book, open your Kindle, get out pen and paper or pencil and paper and start writing down your goals. Any dreams that you're having, write those down because sometimes insight and things that are on your life path come through dreams. Open your windows, open your doors, get fresh air, step outside if you're allowed to in your areas. Eat clean, right? It's time to start eating clean. Drinks lot, lots of water. And if you have vitamins, start taking your, vitamin, your vitamins to boost up your immune system. All my information is in the box below for personal readings. Thank you for tuning in to Saggy Soul and from one soul to another soul. I love you, soul family. Have a great week.